protecting pacifists. Um, like I say, if you tracked it, there was this pacifistic, or these pacifists in Germany. People call them Jewish, or Jews. Um, they're just basically people that had sworn off violence. They wouldn't hit you. They wouldn't, they wouldn't attack you. You could walk up and you could take their wallet and walk away. Uh, or even ask them for a wallet, and they would give you your wallet, pretty much. Usually they had money, but they didn't always have money. They were basically just a group that believed in civilization and believed that violence wasn't the answer. Pacifists. Um, you know, they were scientists, they were teachers, they were, they were people who believed in civilization, or at least believed in shops and in higher states of, of existence, more than just... Oh, I have log. I hit you on your head and you, you, you surrender to me. You know, they were more than that. You know, and, and, um, so anyway, people realized that these people, you could push them around. You know, and, and there was even, there's even camera film of people abusing Jewish people or pacifists because they wouldn't hurt them. They wouldn't, they wouldn't attack them like that. They didn't believe in physical violence. So, Anyway, um, so a lot of people were picking on a lot of the other groups, a lot, or, or just even neighbors would pick on them. You know, they would they would steal their money, they would break into their house and steal their money, and the Jewish Jewish people would would do laws and they believed in the system, in the system, they believed in a system of government, and other people were like, "Oh, your laws are stupid, man. You're just gonna lock me up. Who cares? They steal your shit anyway." You know, gangster stuff. You know, that kind of thing. So anyway, so I relocated them out into a place. I was like, all right, well, all you pacifists, you're going to have to go out into the desert where it's safe, and I'll make sure you're safe out there. And I had a project going out there anyway. Um, so they went out there into the middle of nowhere, into the desert, and made themselves a town community. They had farms. They had, they had all kinds of stuff. They built themselves a civilization out there. And there were like two or three of these things. Um, one also in America. Um... Anyway, these people believed in, in the system of government, system of laws. And so, and so other people were like, well, we just got guns and we go over there and we just kill whoever. You know, and, um, and so they were doing that. They were, they were breaking into their houses. They were stealing their stuff. Yemen, I think, was another pacifistic community. And they broke into the houses of the, of the people and just stole their stuff until, until there was nothing left. And, then, and, they, and, and the people of Yemen were like, well, they, we have nothing, but hey. Yeah, whatever, we're still alive. Anyway, then they started going and killing and raping them. Because, like, like oh, well, nothing happened, and we're still alive, so I guess we'll just go and rape their daughter and, and kill them if they talk. That's what really happened. I think that's what really happened in Yemen. I forget. Anyway, though, it got bad. It got really bad. Anyway, and... And so I started moving troops around and stuff, and so I feared what happened in Yemen would happen in in um, in Israel. I had like three or four communities that I knew of that where I had these pacifists or people that believed in the system. And there was all these other people who were like, who cares, man? We got guns. We'll go in there. We'll just shoot them. We'll force them. So anyway, so I basically screamed and was like, was, was like look, I got guns. I got tanks. If you want to take this down like this, we'll go down like this. I, I, I was like, you know, I used to be pacifistic myself, but then after seeing enough people die, I was just like, fuck it. You know, I've always wanted to use these tanks and these artillery and these battleships anyway. So I basically, at that point in time, I basically told my generals, my people, kill them. You know, find, find those people, find the people attacking these people and kill them. Remove them from, from the front. Actually, my orders were kill them and then nuke their corpses. <laughs> They're like, well, we're not going to go that far, but we'll stop the problem. So, so anyway, so I sent Russian troops over there, you know, because we were trying to build a civilization. We were trying to have law and order. And these people were just going in there with guns and killing or taking whatever. It's just, you know, you can't have a 
It's like, how are you going to have a civilization if you shoot it up every week? You know, I mean, if you trample the farms, you're not going to have food. I guess you could eat each, eat each other. So anyway, though, so basically I had governments and tanks and everything else like that. People know me. I was very, you know, anyway, I was the lead pacifist, I guess, back then. You could call me. I was the head pacifist. Oh, he's the head pacifist. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, we're going to do pacifism with, 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 with a condition. Just make sure they shoot first and then finish it. Yeah. Get some of those non-pacifists. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so... Anyway, and some of the pacifists were like, you know what, we're not pacifistic that much. We'll go to that next level, too. You know, if it's going to come down like that, then we'll just be pacifistic in our own way. So... So anyway, humanity was making some choices, basically. You know, and I, you know, like I say, I was all pacifistic, like, no, system, let's not hurt anyone. And then I was like... You know what? I got a 17-inch fucking cannon. And I got a battleship that can shoot 60 miles. Let's use it. <laughs> I was like, let's use it. <laughs> so, uh, I've always wanted to use my artillery for someone. It's, it's, at that point in time, it's like, I've always wanted to really hate someone. So, anyway, yeah, and what was happening in Yemen, if I remember right, uh, if you go back to the history of Yemen and some of the other cities, what was happening over there was really upsetting me and really pissing me off to the point where I was like, all right, no more pacificness. You know, I was a company owner. I was an inventor. It's time for me to go to the next level. And even some of the Jewish people would... They didn't want to actually shoot someone, but they would fire artillery. <laughs> Humanity did did this weird little change where 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 the pacifists were like, "Well, if we don't see them die, <laughs> you should see the videos. <laughs> Big old beards and, and 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 Amish people being like, "Well, if we don't see them die, then I guess it's pacificness." <laughs> so they actually started doing this weird, weird pacifistic war where humanity was changing or this group was, was changing from from complete pacifism to to uh, to pacifism with it with it with, with a um with an add-on pack you know it was it was actually kind of funny because you know it's like i'm not violent i don't believe in violence but sometimes you got to go that way and i learned that and so did my people you know, we wanted to have our lights on. We wanted to have our water running, drinking, our clean drinking water. We wanted to have civilization. And these other people were threatening our existence. So, you know, me as an inventor, me as a person of science and whatever, and someone who didn't like to kill people, didn't want to kill people. I mean, you know, <laughs> explosions are fun. <laughs> so, um, anyway, though, so these people that would, you know, shoot us like dogs in the night or whatever, you know. Um, so anyway, um, my white army moved in. Um, I had, I had the the ships and I had the tanks and I had the men and so, and I had Germany and America and a couple other countries and later on I had aircraft. So, anyway, yeah, um, it's a long, long story and and. It, it, a lot of my people died. They gutted a couple towns first before I could get, before we could. You know, we had to claw our way back up to the top. You know, because there are a lot of people who are like, well, we don't care. We're just going to kill you anyway. I mean, we're just going to kill you. you know, and we're going to keep coming, man. It's like, well, so are we. The shells will keep raining down on you. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, the shells will not end. We will outproduce you. So... Anyway, so it came down to to this bloody war between pacifists and non-pacifists, or people who just didn't give a fuck. And I guess the pacifists won. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know. I mean, I don't really care. Um, it was men of science. It was people of science. Like like I said, higher education. Uh, Germany had the highest education level, and um, and those pacifists really, we knew what we were doing. We knew what we were doing. They knew what they're doing, and. You know, and yeah.